What's good, YouTube? It's Sos. Money is saying you already know the vibes. You feel me? We back with another reaction. Now, everybody know what happened in Baltimore. The bridge collapsed completely. You know what I'm saying? Not a little bit, not a portion. Completely. The whole bridge collapsed, bro. You see cars going by, dumb fast, right before it collapsed. And then all of a sudden, a ship comes and hit the um support. The support pier of the bridge, and yeah, that happened. That's ridiculous. I don't know if you know you guys drive or have your licenses or whatever, or you don't have you if you know how to drive, got a car. Going over a bridge is already terrifying. You feel me? So now that we've seen this, is just because I never see, I've never seen anything like it. You feel me? So this is ridiculous. You about to react to that real quick. Um, before I press play on this video, though, subscribe to my channel if you heard. Put your chest in it. You know what I'm saying? Smash that like button. Uh, hit the bell so I can get notified when I'm dropping these videos. Because I feel like nobody's getting the notifications. All right? I don't know if y'all getting notifications, but y'all can watch other other videos besides the song. You feel me? <laughs> All right. I got one of those coming, too. So, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, we working. But, yeah, yo, this is crazy. This is the beginning uh, when the when the ship first hit the bridge, bro, this is it right here. All right, I got it. I got it. It has music on it, but this is the ship right here. Hold on, we gotta go back, bro. This is crazy. What the hell? The ship going, ship going, and then it just hits it slightly, and then boom! Look at this. Look at this. This is ridiculous, bro. Yo. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Go Now, me even thinking about going over the George Washington Bridge right now is giving me anxiety for real, though. Let's, let's watch this one more time. And then I'm gonna go to another video where you can, you know, they're talking about the news. They're talking about finding the people. The ship. So, look. I'm going to pause it real quick. They said that the ship... There's a video, too. I'm going to try to find it. The ship, the ship lost power, and then it lost power twice. So the first time it was lose power, you know, he whipping the ship. Ah, uh, boom, boom. Cruising, you feel me? And then the lights go out. Now, they not by the, they not by the, uh, the bridge yet. So then it comes back on. I guess he tried to bust a UE real quick, just a little bit to the left. You feel me? The lights go off again. I mean, the power go out again. You know what I'm saying? Um, after that, I guess it comes right back. It comes on again right here. If y'all can see that right there. But it's too late by then. And this happened, bro. This is crazy. Like, you would think this was like a movie clip or something. Bro, and it's at night. Like, did they did they know, like, that it was going to happen? Because it seemed like they got, like, a spotlight. Like, all these lights back there. But, yeah, that's crazy. Y'all let me know in the comments if y'all terrified now of going over bridges. You know what I'm saying? I don't blame y'all if you have PTSD after watching this. So, look, this is this is the, the, the uh, hold on. This is the news right here. Uh, wait, I got to switch it. Hold on, hold on. Live. This is live. So we get in. A, we get in a, a, a glimpse of the live. Actually outside. Uh, this is like a scene from a movie. We've been hearing from people who drive over this bridge every single day, who are con talking to their friends and family about. This is what live happened. right now. Janine Donaldson is standing by on the other side of what was once the Francis Scott Key Bridge. And Janine, what can you tell us now? Well, right now, what I can ask is that if you are someone who normally takes the key bridge, who wants to see it right now is not the time. You can see trucks like this one. We've seen a steady flow of them. They're having to turn around. These are obviously long haulers. They don't know that the bridge is now down, but there are so many people coming over here because they want to see the action. They want to see those emergency and vehicles coming in. Now it's probably a little delayed because it's live there. And then I'm, you know, I'm recording. It's not so. the time. 
time. State oh, police are trying to be redirect these uh, quality, vehicles. There are still many people is, who just bro. don't know, and this is their <laughs> everyday commute. This is the route they take every day. It is a yo. Area. That's crazy. But the biggest thing is this is also where those emergency rescue vehicles are coming through. We have to keep this area clear for them because this response is ongoing. As we talked about this morning. We've seen incident command, underwater recovery it's stressing teams. me out, We've bro. seen responses, ambulances, fire rescue, special operations from Prince George's County, Howard County, Harford County, and Arundel. Are be like, just imagine just driving. You getting off of work. You tired. You worked a long shift, a shift, maybe a double. You feel me? And you just been thinking, you know how you be at work and you just ready to clock out. It'd be like the last five minutes and you just be looking at the clock like, and it just seemed like the last five minutes is going longer than the whole shift for some reason. I don't know why, but <laughs> and you know, and you just ready to clock out and get in your car and drive home, and then you driving over the damn bridge, bro. And this happens. Like, did they even like? Did they say there's missing people or anything? Y'all, let me know in the if comments. You name like, it, we've seen it. So that's what's going on here right now. Again, this effort will be ongoing for hours, but for right now, I'll send it back over. Crazy. To you guys. All right, Janine, thank you so much. We continue with live local late breaking coverage this morning. The key bridge is no more. It has collapsed. We're going to continue with more coverage right after this. Wow. That's OD, bro. Yeah, yo. So that's that. Let's, um, let me see something. Hold up. Mm hmm. I gotta switch it. Uh, okay, boom. Yeah, yo, listen, I would have been dumb tight. Like, they still said it was like seven people working on the bridge. It was actually, like, I guess they was doing construction or something. But. Let me see. This is OD. Let's we're gonna we're gonna check this out right here. Is an NBC News special. This report. is crazy, bro. Here's Savannah Guthrie. And the thing is, I didn't like. I Good morning, this everybody. whole the We're whole day, I'm just finding out news, about this. A horrifying scene in Baltimore this morning: the Francis Scott Key Bridge struck by a cargo ship. Oh my gosh! And collapsing overnight. You can see the video right there. Shows the entire and nighttime is crazy. Apart. This is a mile and a half bridge over Baltimore Harbor. NBC's Tom Costello is right there at the scene for us. And Tom, obviously, the concern is anyone who was on the bridge, members on the cargo ship. What can you tell us? What's the latest right now? That's right. This happened at 1.30 this morning. A Singapore flagged vessel, a cargo ship, struck one of the support oh, structures. Oh, was this morning? It was this morning. Will, holding up the Francis Scott Key Bridge. Look, and with that, the entire bridge, as you saw in that video, collapsed into the water. Just a, a stunning scene here. And this is a critical artery, the Francis Scott Key Bridge, into uh, and around the port of Baltimore, which, as you know, is one of the nation's busiest ports. And so that is going to create a massive logistical headache this morning. The Maryland governor has declared a state of emergency. The transportation secretary, Pete Buttigieg, in, char in, in contact, I should say, with the Maryland governor as well. Fire Department and Coast Guard rescue operations have been ongoing since very early, searching for any potential victims who may have gone into the water. And we have heard there may be seven people who went into the water, maybe more. Nobody wow. on the ship is missing, we believe. However, the concern is that there may have been construction workers on top of the bridge <laughs> when the bridge was struck and that they may have gone into the water. As a result, this is a massive Man. and rescue operation, and it's being described by some at the Maryland State Police as an ongoing mass casualty incident. This is right along the critical I-95 corridor, which, of course, is, is the critical artery up and down the East Coast. So if you were planning to drive up and down the East Coast through Baltimore, be aware that you will see traffic affected. The traffic Yo. is being told to avoid. And I know that what like if if people are in the water, the water is freezing cold, bro. Like you gotta worry about what just 
happen. You got like your mom, first of all, you have no time to even think, just something collapsing, right? On top of hopefully you know how to swim. On top of you can't you can't see shit outside. Is 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 it's, it's like mad dark. You know what I'm saying? Like it's crazy, bro. Six ninety five and go up I ninety five and eight ninety five instead. Nonetheless, uh, as you would expect, we have major major emergency operations now staging at our location. Uh, we are just down the road from this bridge that stretches over the Patasco Road in the water river. Don't pardon me. Go. And it is unlikely, of course, given the state of that bridge, there's going to be any activity, of course, for some time. Tom. Right now, it is all about life-saving rescue operations underway. Yeah, so this is the, the, the ship is called the Dolly. As you said, it's Singapore flagged. As I understand it, it had just departed Baltimore Harbor, uh, presumably loaded with cargo. When you look at the the video yeah. closely, it appears oh, as the cargo wow. ship, it looks very dark. Yo, every as time it hits that support structure, uh, you know, one can't. And then the smoke, bro. Then the debris. You can't see shit, bro. You can't see nothing. It's night. It's cold. It's water. Speculate, but it looks very, very dark as it hits yeah. the support structure. What do you make of that? That's well, wild. not only that, but notice right above it, that appears to be smoke uh, coming from smoke. the ship itself. Uh, all of this is according to eyewitnesses who have also said they thought they saw smoke coming from the ship. So that clearly is going to be part of this investigation. And I must say, all of us who live in the greater Washington, Baltimore area and who are very much aware of what a critical bridge the Francis Scott Key Bridge is, are, are stunned that how a single cargo ship could take this bridge out. How could they have hit the pylon to begin with? And second of all, um, how is it possible that this bridge was so vulnerable yes. to being taken out by a single cargo vessel? Agreed. Regardless, I mean, yeah, it's as you know, imagine. this is. Yeah, yeah and it, and this is a crazy. <laughs> Yo, I hate, Do I hate when the news people, they talking and stuff and then they get caught up like how it just hit like. Cause they, you know, it's probably a little delay in the in the in the headphones. You feel me? Like <laughs> just a tremendous amount of volume, shipping yeah. volume for the East Coast. And this morning, all of that is very much uh, kind of hitting the pause button as this ongoing search and rescue operation continues. It's still dark there, and we're looking at some overhead images Man. there, Tom. I don't know if you can see. We seem to have some new images coming in, aerial images. Uh, so we I hope everybody survives, you know, how extensive this is. This is a mile and a half long bridge. As you mentioned, it's known it's, it's the key bridge in the Baltimore Harbor, but part of 695, I-695, a heavily trafficked what? area, as you know. Bro, this bridge been up for years and years. How could this? It, I got to find, um, while we're watching this, I'm going to try to find sort of the, the lights the going out on the boat. Appearing to still standing, leading up to. I mean, is it I fair to that. say, do you have any insight in, from your vantage point? Is the entire bridge collapsed or is this a partial bridge collapse? Uh, you know, Savannah, I'm going to, here's the thing. You have as good, if not better view than I do, because I'm about a mile down the road and yeah. we can't, of course, go over that road because it goes right into the bridge. Right. But these aerial shots that we're looking at really provide us the best perspective. And to me, this looks like for all intent and purposes, a total bridge collapse there. Maybe just a tiny piece of it is still standing, but uh, this is just an unbelievable uh, series of events that has brought, have this brought is this crazy. Hold on. Now, this is a video of, of the boat losing power. I believe this is the right video. Let's see. All right. So, boom. This is supposed to be the video of the boat losing power. Lost power. Back on. Look like he tried to turn, but it looked like, bro. Oh. 
why would he go? Hold on, son. Because it looked like it could he could have went past it and then just looked like it started turning into the this part right here. Hmm. Okay, and it hits it. Bro. So now this is a wider, a wider. Oh, yeah. That's crazy. That's ridiculous. I'm not driving over any bridges no time soon, bro. All right? I'm telling you this right now. Y'all let me know in the comments if y'all feel how I feel. For real. This is crazy, bro. Like, for real. I hope everybody survive. Or if it's nobody, you know, hopefully nobody's missing or nothing. Because being in the dark at night, I know, like, Everything is just running through their mind like something like Titanic, you feel me? Even though they said Titanic never happened. I don't know really about that story, but yeah, like it just thinks about that. All right, let's get back to this video. This bridge down here in Baltimore. Well, there's, uh, as you said, up to 20 people potentially still missing. The shipping company 20 says people? That all of it. Damn. 20, I, yo, I was just saying that, bro. Like, Cargo ship employees are accounted for. That is good news. Wait, what? There are Listen, let me go back a little bit. Series of events that has brought, have brought this, this bridge down here in Baltimore. People missing. Well, there's, uh, as you said, up to 20 people potentially still missing. The shipping company says that all of its cargo ship employees are accounted for. That is good news. There are... Uh, reports of construction workers who were on the bridge at the time and who may be missing in the water and talk about conditions there. You're standing oh, is man. right there. It is very, very cold. We understand the water yeah. there, the Patapsco yeah. River, to be about 48 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, which, of course, brings up concerns of hypothermia very, very quickly. Exactly. Oh, man. Well, this this is, I got it. I'm in the morning. So if uh, one thirty in the morning gone into that water, you'd be very concerned about survivability at this point. It's about 35 degrees out here, out on the land. Uh, and we have a bit of a wind blowing here. Imagine some being of, in the water. Some family members, I'm told, some family I'm members of construction workers have been gathered at a nearby gas station just down the road, looking for, waiting for any word at all about whether their loved ones were safe. But we don't oh, have any word on that at this point. We are awaiting a press conference we expect momentarily from Maryland state authorities, uh, state police, we believe, and hoping for more information. And you're right, the numbers of potential victims has kind of been very, very uh, up, just all over the map. We've heard seven, we've heard up to 20. The problem is we don't know how many cars or individuals may have been on the bridge at 1.30 in the morning and gone into the water. Uh, so yes, there are an awful lot of what unanswered questions on, here, but just, a, just an unbelievable series of events with that bridge crumbling. And not only that, for us to have video of the moment of yeah, impact, like uh, is really striking. As I mentioned, the NTSB will be leading the investigation, but we are still very much in the emergency mm. rescue stage. See, yep, they will they lead an investigation. Something, something fishy going on, bro. That ass, like, bro, I, the boat, the boat looks like it's gonna pass it, and then it looks like it turns. I don't know. What y'all think? Y'all think it's something with this? That's crazy. Y'all let me know in the comment section. I'm about to end this video. Before I head out, subscribe to my channel. You heard, put your chest in it. You know what I'm saying? Smash that like button. Turn on your post notifications. All right? So y'all can know when I'm posting, okay? And I'll see y'all on the next video. Let's get it.